Hey, this is Bob with Instructional Technology, and I'm here to talk to you about the correct uh, version of OneNote to use and how to get that OneNote to, to work for you. So um, there are two types of OneNote here. This is the old one, 2016. If you've got this still where you've got the sections on the top, you want to go ahead and get rid of that. So we would go ahead and right click on that and unpin it from your taskbar. This is the one you want. I'm pretty sure we got everybody switched over to it. This is the OneNote app. In the OneNote app, the sections are along the left and so are the pages. Hopefully you've got this one um, pinned to your taskbar. If not, you can go down here and you can type in O-N-E. And we are looking for this OneNote app. Just right click on that and pin it. To your taskbar. Now that's only um, half of what we need to do. We also need to make sure that whenever you open up a OneNote that it opens up in this particular app and not OneNote 2016. So to do that we need to go down here and we need to type in default app settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and once we do that we're going to scroll down and we're going to choose choose default apps by file type and then that's going to think. Now, once I get my list populated here, then I'm going to scroll down because the uh, extension I'm looking for is .one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, scroll down till I get to the O's here. And um, once I get there, and there they are, um, then I'm going to make sure that my dot, anything with dot .one in it is going to be opened up in the app. If it doesn't look like this, if it looks like this, I want to switch it back to the, to the O-N-E. Okay? This one you're not able to change. I think this particular extension you can change it to OneNote uh, app as well. So then we're going to go ahead and do that. Now all of our, whenever we open up a OneNote, it'll open up in the app. Now when you're in the app, you can choose this little carrot here, and this is going to show um, all of the OneNotes that I've opened up in the app. If you don't see your OneNote that you need here, you can scroll down and you can click on More Notebooks. So these are um, OneNotes that you've opened but aren't necessarily pulled into the app yet. So I can go ahead and click on that and open and I can pull it into the app. If you've got a OneNote that you need that's not on this list, then that means you have not opened it in the online version yet. In order to pull a OneNote into the app, you have to open it first in the online version. So then we're going to go ahead and let's say that I received a shared OneNote. Somebody shared a OneNote with me. I got an email. So if I click on uh, that open, then that's going to go ahead and open that notebook in the online version. See, I can tell it's online. Once I do that, then I can go to my app. I can go here, I can go more notebooks, and I'll my uh, OneNote that I just opened online will be right here. If I can't find that email, then I can always go to my OneDrive and my shared file, and I can find that OneNote that's been shared with me. Let's say it's this DES staff notebook, and I want to pull that into my uh, OneNote app. I can go here click on it, open it online, then I can click on open an app right here and it'll go ahead and pull it into my app or I can just go right to my app, I can go here and I can click on more notebooks, my um, new notebook will be here, I can check mark it and I can open. Okay guys, hope that helps, hope you guys have a great day.